Hey buddies, welcome to Maths Games, my name is Simon. Today we're looking at another insert. I'm also going to show you how the insert now looks for Fields of R. Now, as you may see, this weighs slightly less, only 502 grams compared to 550 for the other insert for Fields of R. So let's start off and show you how the insert looks for that. So here we have the box now, and then we look inside, and as you can see, everything goes on top. You put the rules on top, you put all the tiles and boards on top of that as well. And then underneath here, you're then going to see how it looks. You can start to see the edge of it. So here we are. Big reveal. Please hit the like button, subscribe button if you're enjoying the content. And of course, let me know in the comments in YouTube is best on whether, of course, uh, you are aware of this particular insert and whether or not you are considering getting it. So there we are. Easy to grab those trays out. Easy to now grab those things and decide, obviously, what you want to do with them. This was initially dry folded. As you can see, the things at the bottom there show you how you put it all together. No nails needed. Uh, glue is used. Five grams of glue was used. Will we be using five grams or less <laughs> or um, when we happen to do it for the next insert, which, as we see, is indeed going to be for the Quacks of Quidlinburg. I've been to Arla. I have been to Quidlinburg. You can see my pictures on Instagram. Over there, you can see, actually, it's my pinned pictures as well. So you have my photo right outside of Quidlinburg. And inside, we'll see how it looks. Now, like Arla, I do have some, some promos, some various promos. This is the Schmidt Spiel edition. Very nice insert presently, actually. But as you can see, again, loads of baggies, loads of cards. This is actually the German edition, uh, which is a bit more metallic like paint, which is better than the English edition and the North Star edition in my view. And let's see how that looks when this all gets put together. Again, over on Instagram, you'll see some photos and updates. So check out over there. There's currently a competition live. If you check through Linktree, uh, you can find that in the description in YouTube. You can see how you can enter a competition. It ends in a few days. So that's it. Now, in terms of how these inserts will be coming, let's go on to that now. As you can see, I have labelled them up. Uh, very cleverly, I did. Uh, because the idea of labelling them up allows you to know which piece to start off with. You know, there's actually somebody else who was actually building the inserts who came up with that idea. And you'll let me talk to you about the, the worry you might have of actually breaking this. Well, they are double-sided, and if you, I'm really pressing hard, you can almost see obviously that pressure that I'm putting in there, and these are very, very, very firm. They are not gonna be ripped and bent, so do not worry about when you pick up these pieces. So, in terms of actually this box, I find they're very useful to actually do your gluing on. Now, other glue is available, but using only five milliliters or so means you're probably able to get through probably six inserts for one pound, is how much that, that glue cost. So there you go, we have the open box there. So this is for Quidlinburg, and this is gonna show us how we do it. So here are the trays, and it does fit um, her witches and alchemists, and I have, as I mentioned before, had someone else's copy used. So again, you can punch through, but you push these things through, and then you're gonna to start to, to initially dry build your little containers, your little boxes. And again, if you are interested in seeing how all these look together, then I'll be doing it for the next following on um, insert. There's another one on its way, and that'll be coming out obviously in due course. Again, let me know your thoughts. There will be a playlist when there are enough videos made relating to this. So it's a chance you just see, okay, that's of interest, and uh, you know, more discovery and other inserts you might find in, of, of, of use. So there we go, starting off, we've already started to dry build it. It's gonna dry build like this. When you do actually blob on the glue, the way you want to be doing it is as follows. You want to take, I want to take off the lid off now. We're gonna dab it in the corners and obviously make a line, the very edge. If you happen to have any excess spillage, what you'll be doing is just make sure you, you wipe that away. So there we go. It kind of holds together, but obviously you wanna make sure you do put your glue on there. And there we go. So that has been Quacks and Piddlenburg. This has been a folded space, picked up at Spiel Fair at a good price. I think it was like 22 euros, um, which I know people um, have found it to be competitive in that respect. So it also happens the, the Leviathan and Kraken expansions, which I have never heard of. So that is something else, unless that is uh, another term for them. I wasn't aware of that. Uh, please let me know if you know anything more than I do. So thanks for watching. Back to the table.